everyone, I'm Hanaya Asher of class 6A of Nirmala Metric High Secondary School. Today, I'm going to tell about plants. Plants need six things in order to grow. Water, carbon dioxide, sunlight, proper temperature, moisture and nutrients. These six things are provided the naturally or artificial environment where the plants live. The, in plants, the cells are like millions and millions of tiny compartments stuck together like Legos. When plants have the right balance of water, air, sunlight and nutrients, their cells grow and divide and the whole plant gets bigger and bigger. These two plants are the plants that, uh, that I grew for a competition in our school for Women's Day. Our topic was to grow a plant using only seed. I grew broad beans and lady's finger. I planted the seeds and watered it. After three to four days, broad beans sprouted on. And on the sixth day, the lady's finger also sprouted. On 8th March, I decorated the pot and displayed it. After the competition, I got motivated to grow more plants. I have completely, completely successfully planted greens and green grams. These two plants are now in their growing steps. I thank you for the opportunity given to me. Have a great day ahead. Good morning to all. I am Soumya of 6th B. I am going to explain about plant growth. Which I have grown. My plant name is Black Gram. Step 1. I took a small box for growing a plant. Step 2. I filled that box with mud. I, for this plant, I used red soil. Step 3. I took some black gram seeds and washed in water and I spread some seeds in the mud. Step 4. Again, I covered the seeds with mud. Step 5. I kept this plot in sunlight and poured water morning and evening. Now, day 1, there was no changes. Day 2, also there was no changes. Day 3, a little bit changes. The seeds have little bit big. In the day 4, the seeds was again big. In the day 5, the seeds was little bit grown. There was one changes in the seeds. In the day 6, the seeds observed the soil. In the, uh, then, in the day 5, it have ready to stand. In the day 6, my plant have grown. Thank you. Myself, Ashwini B or all standard 60 B, I am going to explain about plant growth which I have grown. I planted green gram seeds. This is green gram seeds. Green gram seeds is very good for our health, reduce cholesterol level and manage diabetes. Now I will explain how I planted. First, took one tray and filled it with mud and add some green gram on it. Add some more mud on it and poured water. Keep the tray where the sunlight is reaches. It took six days to grow as a plant. Day one, day two, day three, day four. Day 5 and Day 6 I pour the water daily in the morning and the evening. This is my plant which I had grown. Thank you. First I took a wide tray and make small hole to drain excess water. Then I fill it with soil and mixed well with water and kept aside. After some time, I think of growing plant in separate portion as we do in farm. So, I make separate portion in it. My brother suggests me to grow various seed in it. Hence, I dig fenugreek, channa, red spinach, green spinach, mug bean, paddy in each portion. In the border of the portion, I also dig vegetable seed. I regularly water it 
twice a day and place it with normal exploring of sunlight day by day i noticed the seed sprout and seedling emerged in it it grew into small plant i am so excited in watching these and i love growing plants i also understood the hard work behind production of food grain and request you not to waste food and also try to grow plant as you can thank you I'm here to share a few words about my first planting experience. I was so happy to hear this competition. I love to plant saplings and more. I took fenugreek seeds as my topic for planting. Let me say the steps that I followed for planting fenugreek seeds. At first, I soaked my fenugreek seeds into the water for about 12 hours. After 12 hours, I took my fenugreek seeds, spread into a white cloth, tied it tightly and hung a cloth full of fenugreek seeds on my window. After a few hours, I saw a thread-like sprout germinating. I was so excited to see the germination process of fenugreek seeds. After that, I took a tray filled with water, then another sweet box with some holes. I kept the sweet box onto the tray and I put my fenugreek, germinated fenugreek seeds. Then it started growing. And then I gladly took my grown fenugreek plant to my school. I got first prize from my hard work and then I received the prize also. Thank, I thank my sister for teaching us how to plant trees, plants and to saving earth. Thank you. How to grow fenugreek seeds in hydroponic method? Take a plain plastic box and put the holes at the bottom fully and use another box for storing water. Soak some fenugreek seeds for 12 hours and spread it gently in the box. In another box, pour energy water to touch the bottom of the other box. Place a wet cloth over seeds and keep this box in dark place for two days. After two days, seeds start germinate. Then place the tray near the window or balcony for little sunlight every day. Every day, sprinkle few drops of water. Benefits of fenugreek leaves Fenugreek leaves are grown in many warm countries all around the world and are most commonly used as spice in the Indian subcontinent. The leaves can be used over 6000 years and can be used fresh in powdered form. They contain calcium, prosperous, iron, potassium, fiber and vitamin K. Hello everyone, I am Afra Firdaus from Standard 7A. Here I am going to tell about how to grow fenugreek in water without soil. Take one small bowl with water, take some dry fenugreeks and put the fenugreeks in water and soak for one day. Take one plastic box like sweet box or use and throw box, put holes on it. Take another one box bigger than the previous one, fill it with water. Now take the holes box and keep inside the big box, take the soaked fenugreek and put inside the box take one towel wash it nicely with water now keep inside the box every day you want to change the water uh, if once the towel dries again you want to wash the towel nicely and keep inside the box every day the fenugreek plant should be in sunlight now after three or four days if you see in fenugreek plants uh, uh, green color small leaves will start growing after 12 days the plant will grow very nicely and very well you can cut and use for cooking like methi rice chapati salads etc. Fenugreek has benefits for lowering blood sugar level, reduce uh, cholesterol, reduce diabetes, uh, digestive problems etc. It is very helpful to our body. So this method is very easy. You can try this in home. Thank you.
Vishwa of 8th A, so grateful to our Reverend Sister Principal for creating an interest to grow plants at home. Vasalai Kirai, botanical name Spinacea oleracea. It is widely regarded as a functional food due to its diverse nutritional composition, which includes vitamins and minerals. Pirandai, botanical name Cissus quadrangularius. It is very useful for stomach as well as heart. It gives strength to bones. My first work every day in the morning is to look at my plants and water them. In the evening, when I return from school, I again water my plant. I waited eagerly to see the first leaf which appeared. This made me happy and motivated my interest. It is a beautiful experience to grow plants and watch them growing at different stages. Growing plants gives me so much joy. I wish to share my experience to encourage others to grow more plants and trees. Thank you. I am Saumya of 8th A. So grateful to our Reverend Sister Principal for initiating this incredible event to encourage us to grow plants at home. This has motivated me a lot to grow more plants. Karpuravalli. Its botanical name is Coleus amboinicus. It is traditionally used for treating cold and cough. It is used in the treatment of skin infection, mouth ulcer, hiccups, indigestion and asthma. The leaves when consumed boost the immune system. It gives relief from stress and anxiety. It is effective against fever and viral infections. It also stimulates our body immunity against pathogens. Growing plants in our home relaxes our mind. Thank you. Hi. I am Jehar Nishri of Standard 8B here to explain the plant growth of rose. Take rose cutting from strong, healthy plants during morning hours when they are well hydrated. Follow these simple steps. Step 1. Choose a stem between a withered bloom and the rose woody base. One stem will make several cuttings. Step 2. Remove all the leaves except one set at the top of each cutting. This helps cutting roots and helps you gauge this process. Step 3. Pour a small amount of root boost rooting hormone into the dish. Pour only what you need and discard the excess when you are done. Step 4. Moisten the cutting's bottom half and dip it into the rooting hormone until covered. Step 5. Use a stick or pencil to make a planting hole 3 to 4 inches deep in your rooting bed or container. Make it big enough so you can insert the cutting without brushing off the hormone. Step 6. Stick the cutting into the hole so its bottom half and at least two knots are covered and then frim the soil around it. Use a soft rose. Reduces skin redness, reduces heel cuts, scars and burns and relieves headaches. Thank you. Good morning to all. I am Lavanya of 8C here to explain the plant growth of chrysanthemum. Step 1. Take a stem cutting of chrysanthemum plant. Step 2. Plant a bare stem on the soil. Step 3. Water the plant twice a day. Step 4. Keep the plant for a while in the sunlight. Step 5. Add some organic manures to the soil. After a few days, the plant started the leaf growth. Finally, the plant has grown. Thank I am Orkritik of 9A here to share my new experience of growing moringa tree. First, I placed a cutting of moringa stem in a pot and filled with a mix of soil, sand and compost manure. And I packed for me base around of the cutting. I watered the pot and placed under the sun. I made a habit of choking with the plants regularly. On seventh day, a small shoot came at the bottom of the plant and ninth day, a small leaf appeared on the stem of the plant. Benefits of Moringa Tree Botanical name Moringa alifera. Moringa contains proteins, vitamins and minerals. It as an antioxidant, it helps to protect cell from damage. It may also help to decrease inflammation and reduce pain. It controls blood sugar level and also helps to treat stomach disorder. Thank you. 
Hello everyone, I am Jayavashni from 9C here to share about purslane. In Tamil, it also known as Parpikire and its botanical name is Portulaca olirishia. This purslane plant was grown by me. Purslane takes 4 to 6 days to grow by stem cutting. It grows almost anywhere from poor arid soils to rich garden soils. It needs full sun to grow best. Purslane grow better in dry soil. We can transplant them from March to September. Water whenever the soil feels dry to the touch but don't over water it. Purslane would rather be a bit dry than flooded. Benefits of Purslane Purslane is a rich source of vitamin A and vitamin C. It has more omega-3 fatty acids than any other green leaf. Purslane also contains some B-complex vitamins. Hi everyone, I am Kartiga of 9B. I am going to speak about the plan which I grew for our arts club competition held on March 8th Women's Day. I was so happy to participate in this competition and stem cutting was the topic given for us. So I choose Mexican Mint Karpura Belly in Tamil. First day, I plant the stem in the pot and sprinkle some water for it. Second day, I sprinkle again some water. Third day, a two little shoots came from the bottom. I was very happy to see it. Fourth day, I sprinkle again some water. Fifth day, also I sprinkle the water and I spoke to the plant. Sixth day, again I sprinkle the water and spoke to it. Seventh day, again two little shoots came on the top of the plant. I felt very joyful to see the small shoots in my plant and I showed to my father and mother. Benefits of Mexican plant Helps in the treatment of breast post cancer. It cures respiratory issues. The leaves when consumed boost the immune system. It gives relief from stress. It helps in the prevention of grey hair. It helps to keep the kidney healthy. Thank you.